Hey! You are really working. Hi! Oh, oh, glory to God. Look, it's about letting the people tell Doug what the issues are. It's about the people. That's all our camp the campaign is about. It's about the people. Doug Oliver, believe in the people, trust the people. And see, this is it for me, my son. Okay, my son. That's my son. Yes. Love my son dearly, but this is why I'm fighting for this boy right here because I want him to have a, a future where he can walk down the street and don't get harassed by the cops. Don't get stopped and first. That recognize that maybe this gentleman is a good gentleman and not try to stereotype him as a criminal already. That's what I'm tired of and this is why we need Doug Oliver for mayor because we need these changes now. Thank you. So far as I'm concerned, if you've been in office 25 years, and you haven't thrown a monkey wrench into that pipeline of schools to jails, then you part of the problem. And I find it difficult then to figure that you want my vote for year number 26, because that's where your solution is. I'm seeing the system more worried about the Pope coming here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the system is more worried about, just like you said, putting new seamen on the corners instead of putting that money in school. Hope and send you right back to the right. same neighborhood right. where you right. were. Right. We've been and talking listen, about it listen, a lot on my team. The right. We're talking issue, about the uh, recidivism up. and all that. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, I'm, I'm one that beat the recidivism. So, yeah. you know, yeah. and out that that's not my lifestyle no more. I yeah. work every day, so you know. Yeah. Oh my. Yes, this is what happens when the crazy. property yeah. falls. Apart. See, that's the chimney fell down. This is what's going on in our neighborhoods. This is what the politicians don't want you to see on TV. This is the neglect of an area. 20 years, politicians been in office for 20 years and they letting chimneys collapse. Here goes the poverty of the 28%. We need change. This is why we need to vote for Doug Oliver. Change. You know, I, 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 I grew up Isha. I had Isha when she up, was a baby. What's up, man? How you doing, sir? Yeah. She grew up. Yeah, I used to Just watch coming around to introduce myself. Before I, I stopped working and everything, I was making like $14 an hour. Mm -hmm. But when I stopped and everything, I started getting these, these crappy jobs that's like $750, $80. Like, you know what I'm saying? So what type of jobs you would like actually help out with? There's a couple that I'm thinking of immediately, and there's more than I know. I'm just telling you what I know right now. But there's a lot of hospitality and tourism jobs. We bring in like $275 million a year right. just in revenue. Right, right. We bring, we got 40,000 and growing jobs in hospitality just because people want to come here for the Liberty Bell and all of that other stuff. So there's hospitality and tourism jobs. Plus, plus, once you start to learn the skill sets on how to treat people, make them feel good about coming to the city, everybody wants somebody with those skill sets. So that's number one. There's others. I used to work at PGW for eight of the last 11 years. There's some old behind pipes underneath these streets. Right, and so right. the Public Utility Commission, our regulator, saying we got to replace them twice as fast. Right, right, right. Well, we don't have enough people. So they're hiring there. We need welders. And if you don't know how to weld, that's cool, because neither right. do I. Right. But there's a way that you can get trained to weld, and those jobs <laughs> pay $70, $80, $90 an hour. Right. And it's enough work for all of it. Right. The last one is all these dilapidated houses. This one look all right, but there's a plenty of them I just passed on this block that don't look good at all. Right. We can fix those houses up so that they can people can move into them and then they be I paying agree. taxes I that agree. give us I'm, here. I'm glad i met you yeah i'm I, glad i I'm, met I, you i know you're going out there, going yeah, out to california first i'm, I'm gonna come back and everything coming back home because if i years. come back i'm trying to find you that's it you know what I'm hopefully i'll be in the mayor's office right <laughs> right hopefully and if not i'll be around here somewhere right working right gentlemen all right man thank you My name is Doug Oliver. I'm running for mayor here in the city. All right, bro. Just coming around to introduce myself. Yeah. How you doing, son? How you doing? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. 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 Okay
Times like this where you walk down the street and you realize how big your city is, man. I can meet everybody in this whole neighborhood. It ain't but like four occupied houses on the whole block. So you can walk a whole city block and meet four people, many of whom haven't voted and don't trust anybody. One thing we want to make sure is that our seniors is able to get to the voting. So she will take your information and be in contact with you and make sure you get to the polls. Okay? Yes. What is your name? Yes. How you doing, man? Come on, you step to introduce myself to you. My name is Doug Oliver. I'm, I'm running for mayor. That's me on the card. I'm just coming around and saying, hello. Many of you running for mayor. There's six of us. There's six of us running this, for mayor. This election will narrow it down. Yeah, down to one. And I'm hoping to be the one. The difference between me and the other five candidates, they had 25 years in office to do something with it. I'm frustrated that they haven't done anything with it. So I'm hoping that even though I don't have 25 years in elected office, that I could bring my 40 years of life experience to the table uh, for the benefit of these young men and women um, to schools and to our neighborhoods, which seem to be largely forgotten about. So, seems like you know what he's talking about. Good that he got an answer for somebody asked you a question. You got a street stand, like stand up answer. He ain't just talking no gibberish. It sound like you know what he's talking about. So that's that's good. Good. And he's young, fairly young. I just I'm gonna vote for him and everything. I just hope that you know what I'm saying he really changed something. If he don't change anything, then I mean I'm going to change something. Like so at the end of the day, I'm gonna vote for him. I'm gonna I'm gonna pray for the night his Sunday. I'm gonna pray for him to hope that he 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 can really change something because. It's nasty out here. Yeah, we here. Uh -huh. He was at the show. I shook his hand. He gave me, he gave me a hug. He don't even remember though. How you doing, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember Sunday at show? Season show. I came down. I had an all black and a black hat. I came here, yeah. shook yeah. your hand. You gave me a hug. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I know you don't remember. Running together. Running together. I know. How you doing? I'm dug out. So, sir. Yeah. I give it all to you. Uh, Thank you. I pray for you. I went Thank to church. You. I even prayed for you this morning when I went to church. Thank you. You know what I mean? And I hope to God that you get in. And I know if you get in, I know you're going to try your best yes, to make sure that everything is fine. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You are. All right. Take care. Keep getting them A's. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. Take care.